Well, good morning. Sunday, 14th of May, 2023. The 50th anniversary of the Allegro launch day. And I'm outside Kew Gate at Longbridge, what's left of the Longbridge plant where the Allegro was built. Um, we've got a great day planned at Gaydon today to celebrate the 50th, hoping to get 50 cars there. We had a day yesterday, which you'll have seen on a previous video, where we managed 22 cars and a road run around Longbridge. So should be should be good. The sun's playing games, uh, playing ball, I should say. Hopefully, due to maybe rain later, but we'll see. Uh, heavens are smiling on us, so that's good. So yeah, quick look at the gate, and uh, we'll join you at Gaiden. Right. So you'll have seen this yesterday on the video when all the cars pulled up here, but we've got here super early this morning, just to sort of film on our own. So this is what's left of Longbridge now. It's the headquarters of MG in the UK. You can see a few of the buildings left around there. And then the main part here. Agatha's there with my mate Phil. Phil's gonna actually drive to Gaydon. Um, as I said in yesterday's video, his Allegro isn't finished yet. He's, with, he's restoring it. So as a special treat, I'm letting him drive Agatha down to Gaydon. There's Phil, look, driving Agatha. I've, uh, we're, we're stopped at a set of traffic lights now. He's got used to the clutch. Well, what, what's left of the clutch? <laughs> and uh, he's just discovered we haven't got five gears. Right, we have made it to Gaydon. Uh, already quite a few here. And uh, we'll have a look round during the day. I'll try and do a fair bit and get everything in, but obviously I want to enjoy the day myself as well. So apologies if I miss you or your car. I make 42-ish at the minute, so hopefully we'll get the 50. So, let's start off with Andy's series. Is it a series two, Andy, this one? This one is, yeah. The, yeah this is the series. Two, oh, right, sorry, yes, yeah, Mark two. Series for the low rent? Yeah. Okay. Okay, for your beef, for your beef. <laughs> okay Mark two, Vandenplar. Yeah, know your place. Yeah. I know, I know my place, I know my place. We've seen Andy's car before. This one here next is um, another YouTuber's car. This is Alex from uh, All Things Alex. This is George and he's left Mildred at home. Yes, he has another Allegro who's called Mildred. Part to the other YouTube Allegro there, there's Alex's Peggy from Alex's Assets. Again, we've seen Peggy many times, but if you want to see George and Peggy, George is on All Things Alex. And Peggy is on Alex's assets. There's far too many Alex's. Maybe I should change my name. This is the 1750 HL we saw yesterday. And again, we have another Mark II Vandenpla there. And I wonder if that's a Mark I then on an Enridge. Who knows? Um, probably is. And then we've got another one there. Again, this blue was a very popular colour by the looks of it. There is Gladys, Tom's Immaculate Series 2. And there's Paul's Series 3 Estate. Again, we've seen them before. Nice Series 3 with quad headlights. This is the uh, Dutch one from yesterday, all the way from Holland. And then we've got a nice Series... Dodgy Northern Blake, that's you. I'm not from the north, how dare you? This is, Al <laughs> this is Alex, everybody. You know Alex. If you don't, follow his channel. All things Alex. Thank you very much. The owner of George and Mildred. Thank you. That's right, isn't it? It's this right, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll probably see him out later. What's that fucking cockerel? <laughs> <laughs> As I say, nice Series 3 on an X there. And a Series 2 on a T. Early 1 here. And this one is came on a trailer. Um, <clears throat> apparently, the guy was saying to me, he thinks it's the second oldest one known to exist. I don't know if that's true, but why wouldn't we dis? Why wouldn't we? You know, why would he lie? But if it is, it survives. There we go. I will do the back of these as well. Um, why not? But as I say, there are two or three YouTubers here today. I'm not going to go around the whole cars. You know me. Um, and I'm not in competition either. We all do our own thing. 
I'm sure there's a lot of crossover and I'm sure we all watch one, two or three of us. You know what it's like with YouTube. You have that many channels, you pick and choose, that's fine. I don't tend to ask for subscribers. You either like me or you don't. I'm the same with every other channel I watch. There are certain people you gel with and there are certain people you think are an idiot. Hello, I'm an idiot. So <laughs> that is line one. I don't think that's going to get any larger. Um, we're going to struggle to get them in at the back. We were hoping for 50. We've got way over 50 already. So V Reg on a three is going to be very early series three. Um, <clears throat> a bit strange actually because it's got series two mirrors on it, but it is a three. Anyway, there's a, a later three with an oil slick underneath it. Oh dear, best not look at that. And then we've got a nice, uh, this is the famous Rally Series 1. Very nice. I will try and have a walk around some of these specialer ones. Specialer? That's not a word. We've seen that at Keep before. Yeah, I'll try and uh, have a walk around some of these more special ones later when the crowds move away. Then we've got a uh, Vanden Pla in Sandro, same as mine. Um, I do quite like them in Sandro. It looks uh, quite a nice colour. On the VDP, I mean. It's obviously a nice colour, I've got one. And then, uh, yeah, we saw that one yesterday at the uh, gathering. There seems to be a lot of oil here. Obviously, somebody has been parking ambassadors here before, I guess. Oh, by the way, Lee should be coming today on his scooter. Fingers crossed we see Lee later. Again, this is Colin's collection. We've got the Series 1. The Series 1 1750 SS and then the Innocenti Regent. Um, <clears throat> another Series 1 there. There's Agatha. The boot is getting signed, but I'm missing a lot of people. Have you signed his boot? Yes, Alex, Alex has signed the boot. I just said to Alex, I said he's a lot taller than I expected. It, yeah, well, he, he doesn't look as tall on the telly. So, yeah, another one from yesterday. This is the Reynard one. Um, and again, we'll do this back row as well. Although we will scan through the ones that we've already done. Which is obviously, there's so many of us that came yesterday. Um, yes, I believe there's supposed to be another SS somewhere today. A white one, I believe. Or is it orange? I think it's an orange one. There we go. That's a very nice LE, isn't it? Special, very nice. Lovely, lovely. This will probably turn into a long and rambling video. Hope the wind isn't uh, too bad. There is a wind blowing certain directions, but we should be okay. I will pick up some of the uh, other stuff that's knocking about later. So this is Philip's uh, Vanden Pla. Come across from Northern Ireland in that. There's Dan and Adam's Series 1. The Kennedy's Series 3. Again, an early three. There's Andrew Series 3. Uh, I think that, that was here yesterday, FA German, uh, the Burton on Trent one. Uh, series 3 again. Early Series 1, I think that was here yesterday as well, wasn't it? In Blaze, yes. Another three. A two again, another three. Estate, is it the first estate we've seen? No, we've seen another one, haven't we? We are rambling. But yeah, nice estate there. This is the one that's come from Germany. Adding on to the story from yesterday, I was asking the guy why it's right-hand drive and German registered. It was taken over to Italy in one of these, you know, banger runs, buy a cheap car and, and drive to the continent. And then it got left in Italy and uh, taken to Germany, etc., etc. And that's why it finds its way to them. So there we go. A couple of threes. In fact, four threes there in a row. I think I like the quad headlight ones, they are nice. Um, bonus font on the number plate. We do love a bit of Cirque font. That's a very, very rusty example, but it's made it. And it's a very late one on a W, actually. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. We've done the back of these. This one, this was the one from yesterday I said was towing a little caravan. It is there. 
and uh, yeah I am going to count up later how many we've got but we are way over the 50 I think we've seen that one before as well series 2 has got a series 3 boot on it and yeah they keep coming in there's a brown VDP coming there sneaking on the end I think I'm gonna to have to do some mopping up here in a minute we seem to have run out of space let me just add that onto this row for editing purposes it's a lot easier to keep stopping the camera at the end of a row um, it's for sale should you want it all right very very nice there we go so yet another row let's go with this one we've got a, a one there obviously early on an M this is Ed K's super duper god knows what turbocharged god knows what charged super fast amazing there is some footage of this on the uh, internet it is immensely quick as you can probably tell I don't even know what engines in it but uh, yeah it's immense that one and the answer to why would you do that why wouldn't you there is Mr. Waddingham's that's a very late series one we've said this before P Reg was the changeover year Tom Morley's is an early two Steve's is a late series one on a P there's the other SS that we were looking at there we go I will do the back end of these in a while and then we've got another VDP there a VDP there on very strange wheels uh, I don't know what wheels they are and there we have I think is the only surviving black estate that's left I do believe that is a fact uh, there's we've got a Crayford convertible there look Again, it's a Series 1 look on a P, so a late 1. And another brown VDP. Another S Reg Series 3 there. And then another VDP. There's plenty of VDPs out today. Plenty of them. We have certainly got a lot of Allegros here today. And yes, we know they're not officially Allegros, but we let them come because they've got no real friends moving around the back as I say I will try and mop up some of the uh, the stranger ones like I say Crayford I'm guessing the uh, same as me the Cortex has been retrofitted on that it wouldn't have had one on a P-Ridge and then yeah. <clears throat> yes this SS is absolutely immense look at that that's beautiful very nice only bit that lets it down is the the vinyl there but we can forgive it that that is lovely do you like that yeah all right and there are still more to do I'm sure we'll get a few more later but I will do this row anyway so we've got a series 2 there two door all on its lonesome maybe someone will go and park next to it later 1100 deluxe and then we've got the uh, regalia stand and there we go another series 3 there Series 2, another VDP, there's another Sand Glow uh, Series 2, same as mine, and then we've got an estate there, and we're moving this one, like Tom's just said on the video, if you did hear him, when they take a photo you won't see his car, so yeah rough and ready but it's running and that's what we like it's a survivor could be a song about that couldn't they maybe Beyonce could help me out with the lyrics I've forgotten them there we go so I'll pick it up later if anything else arrives um, and if anything exciting happens and why wouldn't it 
I mean, look at all this. This has got to be the most Allegro's in one place forever. Just look at that. That is a fantastic sight. You cannot argue there. You know, for a car that's very much maligned, it just shows that uh, there's many saved. In fact, there's another one coming in there, like another Sand Glow one. Two door at the back there. That makes 69. Yeah, fantastic. I don't think we expected this many. As we'd have uh, tightened the group up, I think. So I'm gonna do a bit of mopping up now and I'm gonna miss a few, unfortunately. So here is a very, very scruffy looking VDP, but it's made it. Um, that. It's definitely a work in progress, but it's made it, it's made it. Um, I've been walking around all morning getting my boot lid signed. I cannot remember for the life of me what I've seen and what I haven't seen. I think all the uh, late arrivals are over here and over the corner, so I'll just do them. Uh, and we definitely haven't done these two here. I think there's these two. This nice Reynard one, and then the uh, the early estate. We haven't done them. <clears throat> there we go. I don't think we're going to get many more coming in now. Um, and then I think these ones on the end we haven't seen. So we've got uh, James's. Um, lovely VDP there, the black one. I think it's called, what's the call? Is it called Tulip or something? Forget. Anyway, lovely that is. And then he obviously he's made a uh, pickup. If you've ever seen this, it's obviously not factory. Hook, it's Hooked on Classics herself here, Simone. How are you? All right? Yes, I'm good, thank you. In the yes. 75 today. Yes, Connie has made it. Connie's made it, but TC has not. TC has not. Unfortunately, I replaced his engine mount and he's still shaking like a lettuce leaf. <laughs> never mind, never mind. But yeah, we'll just wander around and pick up these stragglers. So they're a nice little triumph there. As I say, ADO 16, the uh, princess that was here yesterday. Oh, well, at Galen yesterday, sorry. Longbridge yesterday. Tora 75, a nice maxi. Original mini there. And then uh, I think that's... Um, a ZT tour is it or something? Do they call it a ZT? I forget what they call it. German left hand drive anyway. Is it is it called a ZT on an MG? He's gonna get it is, it's a ZT. 190 brake, ZTT, very nice. Here we go. Um what else have we got to mop up? There is Lola, Claire's Series 3. Um on the end there. Don't think we've seen that one. And then this Sanglo Series 2, two-door. I don't think I'd pick that one. Claire herself there, like, trying to avoid the camera. I'm avoiding it. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, I think I've picked everything up that I missed earlier. Um, apologies if not. As I've said many times on the video, I am trying to enjoy the event and also do much YouTubing and, uh, yeah. I'll pick you up in a bit, but it's random. It's random, people. Well, look what the cat's dragged in. Here he is, look. Greetings, everybody. Hey. I hope you're all having a good day. And I bought the lovely wife as well. Yay. <laughs> and he's on his little his little scooter. Yeah, come all the way on the scooter. He has. All the way down the uh, M40. Have you seen anything you like here, though? Yes, lots. Lots of Allegro's. Even Sal says they're really good-looking cars. Oh, did you? We won the lottery yet. Get that Kia gone. Well, that's it, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I think Allegro is per perfectly good no. for, for uh, everyday use. Get one of these gone. Hey, <laughs> he's got to get one fixed to get it gone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. that. That's a death stare, that. That's fair. No, it's not. Do you not get rid of Mrs. Weed? Um, can't get rid of Mrs. Wynn. Can't, can't get rid of the Mighty White. Can't get rid of the Mighty White. Gary. That, Gary. That Gary. Oh, but that's going to tow the caravan, so it'll have to be the Jag. Well, that's fine. Get rid of that. <laughs> right, so just wandering around the main car park. Uh, 
my friend Steve is here. He hasn't come in as Allegro, it's broken. But he has bought himself a lovely, look at this, SD1, three and a half litre. So I thought I'd just throw this on for you. What about that? Very nice. Been a few years since we've seen one of them driving about hasn't it get the odd one at a show don't you but everybody's scared to use them the petrol price must be immense there we go and there are a few um there's a few renault's here and a few older cars a few allegro's leaving now i haven't even filmed the daimlers have i so i must just have a quick walk along here There we go. Quickly walk along these. I've no idea how much footage I've got, so this video could be massively over long. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd show you them. There's one for Heather, look, Morris Traveller. And then it looks like a Cosworth at the end, Sierra Sapphire Cosworth. Um, have a quick walk up to that one. Why not? Let's throw some Ford action in. Look. Do you think that number plate is supposed to say O Cosy or something? O Cosy. Could be. 4x4 Cosworth Sierra Sapphire. Get your checkbooks out. If that's your thing. Who doesn't love a Ford, eh? We'll just do the back of these few there. Look, the uh, the Traveller definitely in need of some wood restoration, we think. And then the Renault 16, Renault 5, Espace, a Laguna 21, and a Renault 12 on the end there. Sound like I know what I'm saying, don't I? They've all got numbers on. Um, let me quickly show you these Daimlers. Why not? Although I am just going to do a walk by. I think uh, they must be quite upset that they've been overshadowed by the the lowly Allegro. Is that my phone ringing? Hello. Yeah, that was Lee on the phone. He's about to leave, so I'll quickly scan past these and I'll go and find him. Look, original Mini. Sorry Daimler fans. ZT. Oh look, a Focus gear in hatchback form. Why is that relevant, I wonder? Well, stay tuned. Here he is then, he's uh, about to get on his Lambretta and go to Brighton. I know it's not a Lambretta, I said it on purpose. <laughs> shop for that. What is it then? A Vespa. A Vespa. Are they like the, they're them things you um hair dryer basically, yeah. No. Ain't they what you make roll up fags with? That's a Rizla. Oh <laughs> what's a Vesta? Swan Vesta. <laughs> box of matches. Oh, I knew it was something like that. It's a lovely bike though, isn't it? Tell you what's a cracking bit of kit. Really is. And what is it? 300 cc. Yeah, liquid cooled, fuel injected. Oh, it sounds modern. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all proper modern. <laughs> hey, look at this. Heather's just made a joke at Lee's expense, saying actually it will look like he's getting on a Honda Goldwing if you scale it right. <clears throat> Are you on? Are you on? You on? Oh, he's on. He can just about touch the floor. <laughs> You've left your stabilizers up. Yeah, I just hope I don't have to stop. <laughs> oh, very good. Right. See you in another video. Bye bye. See you Take it easy.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you to those who endured getting lost in the multi-story at Longbridge yesterday. Um, uh, thank you to everyone for making effort to get their cars here. Um, and uh, I, is Tony Mooney still in the room? Or is he? I think Tony should cut the cake representing one of the major starters of the Allegro Club. Hey! 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 Whatever anyone else says, we like them. Come on. <laughs> So everybody's starting to leave now. We've had a fair few go. We've just had the meeting and uh, yeah, that's about it for the day, really. I'm going to get my stuff packed up and get off home. Fantastic day. Right, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. Uh, apologies if I didn't film enough stuff and I didn't go back to certain cars. The day just got super hectic and I was trying to enjoy myself and have a good look around and catch up with people. The final count, although I probably missed a few cars, Officially was 80 cars turned up on and off all day, 80 Allegros in one place. Apparently that's the most they've ever had since the Allegro 25th. And of course, 25 years ago, these cars were still quite common sight. So yeah, it's been a great day. Um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, keep, keep tuning in. There'll be more Allegro stuff, more stuff with the new car coming soon. Hope you like it. Uh, until then, I'll catch you again. Bye bye.